Hello, I'm Jarrett Mackey and I am standing outside of Finley Stadium in Chattanooga, Tennessee, where Detroit City FC just drew nil-nil with the California United Strikers in their first match of the 2021 NISA Legends Cup. It had been 193 days since the Detroit City FC men's first team last took the pitch, where they defeated the Oakland Roots 2-1 in the NISA Fall Championship Final. With this being the first match of the season, there was bound to be some new faces on the pitch. Four players out of Detroit City FC starting 11 were new to La Rouge tonight. Those being Maxi Rodriguez, Javier Steinwasher, Anthony Manning, and Javon Torre. Personally, I think all four of these guys had really, really good debuts. I was most impressed by Maxi Rodriguez and Javier Steinwasher. At first, Steinwasher did a really good job with hold-up play, getting the ball into the box, linking up well with the fullbacks, but Rodriguez played a full 90, bossed that midfield. Going into the season, we were all kind of worried, we had questions, we still have questions to be fair, about how we would fill the Bakey Goodman hole in our midfield. I know it was only 90 minutes, but Maxi Rodriguez showed that he has what it takes, he has the skills on the ball, he can hold up play, he can do a really good job controlling that midfield, and let's face it, Cal United is one of the better sides we've faced all season, and he looked incredible out there today. So you give him more time to get chemistry with the guys around him, and who knows what's possible. I think he did a really great job tonight holding his own, and I'm a little less concerned about how we're going to fill the bakey gap uh, after tonight's showing. Another exciting thing we saw tonight was the return of the 3-5-2. Of course, the 3-5-2 was made famous in 2019 when Trevor James put Musa Gie, Stephen Carroll, and Jalen Chrysler all back there, and they did a great job. I think we had eight or nine games in the NPSL without conceding a goal. We saw a return of the 3-5-2 in 2020, but Stephen Carroll was flanked by two players who aren't natural center backs in Tendai Jurira, Tendai Jadid, excuse me, and Michael Kafari. Tonight, we saw the return of the 3-5-2 with Stephen Carroll, Matt Lewis, and Anthony Manning. The start of the match, we went with the 3-5-2, and we had three proven center backs back there, and I think it looked great. A little bit sloppy at times, but it's their first time playing together. I think we give them more time. Uh, they work, they get that chemistry going, and I think we'll see a 3-5-2 just as successful almost as it was in 2019. Um, and I feel like it's going to really help us a lot going forward, going into this Nisa spring season. At halftime, we saw a really interesting substitution that changed around the formation. At halftime, 2020 Michigan's Mr. Soccer, Bosch Tanyi, came on to replace Javon Torre. That took us from a 3-5-2 to a more traditional back four, with Anthony Manning slotting over to the left and having Stephen Carroll and Matt Lewis there holding down the center back positions, and then Kevin Venegas on the right like he was all game. The change of formation was interesting to me, and I really like that we can do that because it makes us more flexible, uh, more dynamic. If, if the 3 5 is not working out a game, we can shift to that. Or if we start off with that and it's not working out, we can go to the 3 5 uh, Overall, I think Bosch Chaney did a really good job in his debut for City. Uh, he came on the, uh, off the bench. He was really fast down the near side. Uh, had some really good chances, was getting in really good positions, and I think he covered himself in glory tonight, and I'm really excited to see um, how he develops as a player. He's still so young as the season progresses under Trevor James and under that coaching staff. Overall, I think going forward we saw the same problem we saw in the seeding round of the 2020 NISA Fall Championship. We'd have really good interchange play between the midfielders that would get it to the fullbacks, go to the center backs, but we had a really, really hard time linking that play and getting it to the feet of our strikers, people who could go forward and hurt Cal United on the break. That's something we figured out towards the end of the seeding round and as we went into the Nisa Fall Championship, as we won it, clearly. And I think that'll come with time. I feel like once Maxi Rodriguez, uh, you know, gets more in, in tune with these guys, once Torre, if he comes into the side as a wing back, once he gets more used to the midfield, I feel like it'll be easier to get the ball to the speed of our striker. We did a lot better with it when Yazid Matthews came on and I expect him to be starting for us uh, when the season actually begins and not the Legends Cup. Um, so with that, I'm optimistic. Uh, like I said, Cal United is the hardest team I think we're going to play all year, and I think we held our own against them. I Honestly, I think they're happier with the draw than we will be, um, and there's so many positives out of this one. If I had to pick a man of the match, I'd pick Maxi Rodriguez. I've said his name a bunch. I'm going to say it again. He was just so good at holding that midfield. The vision was there. The passing was there. It was awesome. I, it, it was a really vintage performance for him, and honestly probably ranks up there with one of the best debut, debuts in city history. Just to recap, I'm super pleased with this match. Uh, we saw a ton of great new debuts. We saw the return of the 3-5-2 with three true center backs. I was really impressed with Bosch Tanny. Uh, even Benedict Tanny came on and he was really good. Um, Maxi Rodriguez, my man of the match, personally did a great job. Um, so yeah, that's it uh, for me here at Finley Stadium. If you agree with me, disagree with me, let me know in the comments down below. Detroit City FC's next match is on Friday at noon against Stumptown Athletic and the second game of the 2021 NISA Legends Cup. See you guys then, but until then, Detroit City till I die. Have a good one.